Hey everyone, my name is Mackenzie, and in this video, we are going to fix damaged old photos in Photoshop and then use them for a documentary film. Let's get started. All right, let's go into our Photoshop and take a look. So here I've got a photo. I've got some horses and they're in under these beautiful tall red pine trees. And as you can see, there is a lot of damage done to this photo. There are some cracks on the outsides. There's a lot of noise in here, all these little white spots, and then this huge tear right here. And so I'm going to fix all of this and make it as clear as I possibly can. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is come to this band-aid right here, which is the spot healing tool. And what it does is it brings up this circle. And I can right click and adjust the size and adjust the hardness. That is about good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm just going to click on these white spots and you'll see that they just magically begin to disappear. So I'm going to do that to the whole photo right now. What's nice about the spot healing tool is you can also drag it across large spans of space in your photo. So here's a little tear. I'm actually just going to draw along this tear with the spot healing tool. And if you see, it totally takes away that page tear, which is really, really nice and super easy to do. As you can see, the photo is so much better. Uh, but there is two huge parts where the photo is severely damaged, right here and right here on the bottom corner. And the newer versions of Photoshop has this amazing feature called the content aware feature. So what I'm gonna do in order to fill in all of this information is I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and I'm gonna go, which is right here, you right click and go to quick selection and I am just going to drag it around this whole area that is damaged. Like that, that looks pretty good. So now that it's selected, I'm actually going to go to edit and then down here to content aware fill. And it shows a preview of what it looks like and I can adjust my height here to kind of take a peek. So that looks pretty good. So I'm actually going to hit content aware fill and I'm gonna go back to my tool here and deselect. And then I'm gonna go into my spot healing tool once again and I'm gonna kind of fill in some of these cracks that it couldn't get. So I will report back when that's done. So as you can see, we filled it in. It's starting to look good, but there's still some weird things about it. It's got some weird blurriness attached to it, and it just doesn't seem right. So what I'm actually gonna do is go into my brush tool, which you can access right here, and I'm going to hit my color selection tool and get a part of this trunk that I think is accurate to where the color starts to get messed up. And then I'm gonna go into my opacity, make sure it's at 100%, and now I'm going to start working on painting in some of this information on this photo to hopefully blend it into the environment a little better. So let's get started. So what I'm doing is making sure that the surrounding area actually weaves into the areas that I've been painting to make it so that it feels 
more realistic. You can see that there's a lot of variations because of the different leaves and the different branches, and I really want to blend all of that together so that when I zoom out, it feels like the environment is meshing in with the environment that was previously there that got deleted because of the photo being torn up. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So from before and after, that's looking so much better. So now what I'm gonna do is just do some final touch-ups and and then do some denoising and then I think it'll be it'll be set to go. Now I'm actually gonna denoise this whole photo. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go into filter, noise and reduce noise. It's gonna pull up this preview window and this allows you to kind of take a peek at what the denoise filter is going to do. You can obviously look into your main subject here, in this case it's this horse, and I'm gonna look and see. Okay, that's looking good. I wanna take down the sharpen a little bit. Reduce color noise, preserve detail, okay. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go into my adjustments and I'm gonna hit black and white. Just because I wanna make it black and white because all of the other photos are consistently black and white and I don't want an orange looking photo to go into just a, a sea of black and white photos. So I'm going to just make it black and white, and then I can adjust the colors of those blacks and white, black and white right here. So if I want my yellow to be enhanced a little bit, I can make my adjustments right here. And now the final thing I'm gonna do is just click, click brightness and contrast. I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit and then I'm going to increase my contrast. You can already see there's a huge difference to this photo now. You know, this photo, which was previously very damaged, is now starting to be a little more clear, and we can really see the detail coming out from the cabins behind. We can really start to see these horses and see how uh, clear they are, and already this photo has been improved so much since then. And then finally, what I'm gonna do is go into my crop tool, I'm gonna crop out the white lines, and we have ourselves a beautiful black and white old photo uh, that has been restored from all of the tears and rips that it had to a nice polished photo. And that is how you fix a damaged photo. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more, and we'll catch you next time. See you.